Well, let's now talk about fan and what that option is used for and uh, how to use it. Uh, let's first begin by adding something to our sky field here to actually fan. So I'm going to choose this red uh, comet. I'm going to put seven of them in there. And I'm just going to click it seven times. So now I have seven comets in this launch position. And they're all kind of going straight up. But let's say we want an effect where they actually fan across Skyfield. This is really easy to do. First thing you want to do is select everything that you want to fan. So I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to go to my edit menu and I'm going to choose fan. Now it's going to ask me how do I want these to fan and what pattern do I want them to fan. I can fan them from left to right or from right to left. And I can either order their horizontal, either order the fanning by what horizontal position they're in, or by the absolute launch position they're in. And right now, we we didn't put effects across multiple launch positions, so this horizontal position is not going to come into play very much. We're going to go ahead and select launch position name, and we're going to fan this from right to left and we're going to have a maximum angle that they will shoot from this launch position either to the right or to the left of 45 degrees. So if I hit fan now, it will automatically spread these effects okay, out to the maximum of 45. This one's a maximum of 45 and it evenly distributed these in between, the balance of them. So if we want to watch this now, we can watch the way this fan works and that's an example of fan. And you may be saying, well, it said right to left. Why didn't it move from right to left? Well, that's because all of these items are launching at the exact same moment in time. If, for instance, we had placed these on the timeline at different times, then they would have been fanned in the order of right to left. And that's how that kind of works.